guys. <clears throat> I uh, I was on my way home. Ali, look, they're gonna do a they're gonna do a install two of these. Two of these are on the uh, Jinxian um, ten. So we'll start. Look at the thickness. Look at the thickness of the steel. The size of the thing. Anyway, let's let's um let's pace it out briskly. Um, We'll start here. I'm six foot three, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-eight, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 51, 52 strides. It's pity, pity I couldn't uh, come here in the day and see it. I've just missed it. I'm on my way home. It's in the lay-by, waiting. What the? <laughs> they are car coming. Look at the length of the damn thing. Look at the overhang on it. <laughs> Twin, so these two tyres. So when we look at one tyre, we're looking at four, aren't we? Two this side, two that side. So four, eight, eight and eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 tyres on this rear bogey alone look at that how amazing how amazing you don't usually get close up to these things do you because of the the length of the thing it's just unfortunate that it's here in the dark yeah waiting obviously to do a job or waiting to do whatever it's got to do and we can get to it look at this <laughs> I wonder shall I run across the road and take one big look at it uh, no it's a bit dangerous to run across the road in the dark but isn't this just amazing do you think huh? look at that look at that oh. I'll be passing in the morning hopefully it's here if it's here in the daytime I'll come back and take another picture that's what's pulling it look a oh, man that's an eight-legger all on his own twin steer look oh, look at that for a shackle yeah bloody hell gorgeous what a thing what an absolute monster of a thing I don't think you can appreciate the size of the damn thing the overall length of that look think of the overall length of that Wow, that's all I can say. Wow. Well, my little beauties, I've, um, as promised, I've come to find, it. I've come to look for it in the uh, in the daytime. And here is the monster. The tractor unit has gone. Thank goodness, the tractor unit has gone. So we can have a full look at it. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see the thickness? Look at the thickness of the of the metal. And I was on the way here I was thinking, it's an I-beam, isn't it? Two I-beams connected together, connected together and that oh they're lovely nuts and bolts. Shall I get me adjustable on them and I'll only few away? Look at this. Look at that for a piece of angle iron. There. Angle iron up there. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I do like them nuts and bolts. I do, yeah, I do like them. But can you see, look? Mm, and it must be, it must be, there must be some sort of, there's a bit, this bit's longer than that bit. Or I should know, they're the same size, but they're sort of, can you see? With a bit, you know, like that. So it must be, I'm guessing if it's going around the corner. That's what 
the tie is almost have a concrete surface on this, I would say. Look, oh, oh hey. uh, I'd like to see the bolts that go through there. Oh, <laughs> look at that strengthened. You know, as if it's not thick enough anyway. The, there's a plate this side. Oh, there's no plate this side, but look, look see the thickness. There's a strengthening plate that side. And it's all 100% welded look you see all the everything is welded all the all the joints all the joints are welded look at that and where where the bolts go through it's strengthened oh, or, uh, you know and it just sits i mean the trailer alone and these are the that's the, the controls look at that look at this Oh, 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 oh. See, I told you I'd come back in the daytime. We'll have a look at it. So there doesn't seem to be a joint. It's, can you see? It's one big piece. One bit. How the hell? And there's no joints underneath. And look at this. All in here. Raced and cross braced. something down there oh, I don't know or maybe that's the lifting eye steel on steel would slip around but the wood gives it traction you know gives it grip and there's the power unit that's probably a donkey engine that's what produces the hydraulics to be able to steer the thing in the front and the rear and again look Bolted this end. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Mm. Yeah, I would guess the lay by his shirt, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, isn't it? Uh, you know, we, as any, we, we've evolved, haven't we? But we've evolved to figure this out and to make this work. The I-beam, where would we be? Because basically that's just two I-beams, isn't it? Yeah, and some angle iron. Yeah. And a bit of box section. But on a massive, massive scale. So let's follow this along. This is one piece, this is, look. Have they jointed it here? What's happened here? Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh yeah, look, that seems to be the two pieces being, look, or is that thicker? No, it's, this is thicker. That's slightly thinner. Welded it. Probably welded it and x-rayed. But that piece across there, looks. is that another? Oh yeah, you can feel it. There is a ridge there. So that's been welded as well. That's another joint there. So let's follow this along. It's along. Yeah, look. I think mm, maybe not. I don't know what's a hell of a thickness. Hell of a. Who the hell has thought of that? Isn't it? Aren't the human race amazing? I mean, that's a hell of a. That's got to span the whole width of two motorways. It's a hell of a span, isn't it? Here we are, look. Where the thick bit was slightly, you know. Amazing. I don't know, I suppose. Will they shot blast it and paint it in place or will they I don't imagine they put plates. What's it? How long how many years will it take for that to rust through? <laughs> look at that. Well did some holes here, look. Oh yeah, and there is a strengthening plate there as well, look. Amazing. I mean, imagine boys having, having the job of cutting their moulds. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. 
I can't, I can't, um, what's it, I think I'm, right, I'm gonna go work, we've got, I stay here all day just looking at it. I better go, but amazing, amazing, amazing. So, I came to have, I've come to have another look to see, I wondered if that was the way of securing it, of chaining it on. I mean, it's that heavy, it's not likely to move, I wouldn't have thought. But maybe they've took the chains off. I was thinking of uh, Time Flies in the shop and he got uh, another version of uh, leg breakers. Oh, see the steering mechanism. See the steering mechanism for the wheels. Mm, all hydraulic. Even this turns on an arm. They can twist this, look. They can hydraulically twist that sitting on. But anyway, I came back I was on my way home and I thought, oh, leg breakers, they'll, um, they'll be on here somewhere. So I don't know whether they've gone walkies or the driver takes his chain with him. These, these will have been, look, this will have been chained on. And, I, and I, that's part of the securing of their, pull it against each other. But, um, oh, there's an eye up there as well, look, see that? Anyway, I um, I came back to have a look to see if I could find some um, to find if I could see any leg breakers uh, that goes along. They're just ordinary ratchet straps, them are. There isn't. It's not. It doesn't seem to be secured on. So I don't know whether it's it's doesn't get secured on the weight holds it, or whether um, or what see them tabs there's been some tabs welded on there to hold it on, hold to the trailer, uh, or whether the driver of the tractor unit took his chains and his and his ratchets and his breakers with him, but it does <laughs> it doesn't seem to be secured on in any way but i mean some of this big some of this slow i can't imagine you'd need to but there is tabs on the inside look i did some sort of lock just to stop initially moving but yeah i came back looking for the chains and the leg breakers that i'd forgotten about that uh, we think time flies in the shop had, had done one but I think possibly the driver took his chains with him or didn't leave it in there so they don't go walkies. Hmm. Anyway, I did come back, I did look and I didn't find, but it doesn't look like there's a hell of a lot securing it. Well, my little bridge loving munchkins, hmm, I've had a real surprise. I saw these, when I made the film of the other one, I saw these. Uh, and I thought they'd moved, but there's now three pieces. There was the first piece that we saw. Do you remember that one? I'm just taking you for a walk. Look at the thickness of the metal on this. There's one here, look. And this is uh, like a wide load lay-by. This is Junction 9 on the M. No, this is Tamworth. This is Junction 10 on the M42. And they're in this lay-by here, which the boys told me about it. They said, Reggie, there's, they're up by Junction 10 as well. And look at this. Look at this. We'll, we'll keep going. Give you a look at them. Do you know what? I think these are even bigger than the ones that we saw before. Yeah, because it was a... I think these are even longer. I think they are even longer. Amazing. Look, we're... <laughs> we're in the middle of a roundabout hmm so just sort of take note of of this location um see look <coughs> there's those eyes again look so here we are we're at this this is junction 10 on the um this is junction 10 on the m42 the Tamworth Junction and they're here look see they're offset they're not <coughs> they're not level are they 
So it looks as if they're sort of going around a curve. Hmm. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's these um these are easier to see now, aren't they? Lots of them on top. Oh still look at these gorgeous nuts and bolts. Hey? So anyway. Ah, are they stretchers? Oh, let's have a look. These are like these are tied on. These are. Let's go under here. Let's see if we can see a closer look. Oh yeah, these are the binders. That they're the the more modern version. We were talking with um, time flies in the shop, and you see how you connect them. Let's go the other side, yeah. Let's go the other side. We'll have a look at that. What happens is, oh, 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 let's have a look. These are, are metal binders, look. So that's the one end. And then you hook it up through the chain like that, look, whenever you want it. And then you ratchet it and that sort of closes it together. This is the more modern binder yeah see what see what they've done there see can you see look they've hooked it and then you catch a piece of chain and then you ratchet that up and that closes it together that's the modern version of the leg breakers I'm still trying to find the leg breakers I think they've outlawed them you know that's why you don't see them around but this is well secured and I I've got a sneaky feeling it's even bigger but look Ooh, look at them lovely bolts I should have brought me adjustable with me uh, anyway look at this well, that's how they've there's a name for that I can't remember the name on it but there's a name for that there's all the it grips the cable and stretches it so so remember remember these two okay so remember there's one there there's one we saw earlier wasn't there there's that one there's one there and there's one here and remember the location we are in the middle of the traffic island we're in the middle of, of the junction. So uh, I've seen another two. So that makes five altogether. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Here we are, look. Here we are. Unbelievable. Hmm? Right, I'll go and find the other two for you now. Oh, talk about being in the right place at the right time. There's two up there gone. Oh, American. Oh, oh, don't tell me I'm going to be stuck behind these push bikes. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, it must be some sort of charity run. Hello. You'll be on Reggie on the road, don't you, Willie? Hello. Well done. Do you think, do you think they thought I came here especially to watch them? Well, I did now, now I'm here. Oh, it's quite, that's, that's gotta be. Hello, well done. Good lad. Oh, that's interesting. They've been looked after. I'd more need the ambulance if I was doing all that pedaling. Hey, talk about being at the right time at the right place, filming whatever's going on. So here we are at another location. Hmm, and another pair. No, nope, there's another pair of these fantastic beams. Yeah. See this one? No. There's another pair of them here. Now this place. Oh, oh, we might have a puncture there. Mm. So. Uh, this place, I've got to tell you about this place. 
this is the, the Vossa stop. This is this is in the layby on the A5. Yeah. Um, this is where the Vossa pull you. This is where Hitler's grandchildren work from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now that seems to be so. That one is on the trailer, ready for transporting. This one looks a bit different. Obviously, they mustn't have enough trailers to sit them on and have them sitting around for a period of time. So, uh, yeah, this is where they stop you. That's their, their office where they work out of. This is their, um, they've just recently had this Weybridge. I don't know if they replaced it or had it fitted, but yeah, we saw them working on this. It's where they weigh you. You've got to go very slowly. Kadunk, kadunk. The uh, axle weights there. And this one is over here. So, yeah. If ever you uh, you come at this island on the A5, um, this is where you're going to get a tug. And this is where you come. And Hitler's grandchildren work out of that little box there. <laughs> well, look at this one. Obviously, they haven't got enough trailers to go around. Hmm. This one. That's an equivalent to a block of wood, I suppose. Look at this one. This one's on blocks. Ooh. Yeah. Look. And I'm guessing they'll back the trailer under there and they'll back another trailer up under here and they'll um they'll move it. Oh now this one what I've seen different about this one this seems to have see this there's a plate up there isn't there but this particular piece seems to have this um this almost this another thicker piece underneath it, like a strengthening bit. So I wonder if this is the middle. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this one again, look. This has had, this has got this uh, double thickness on it. My goodness me. Can you imagine the cost of this? Oh dear me. But it's going to last a long time and there's a lot of weight going on. So they seem to be... Look at that. Put it on blocks. I don't know what's in there. Oh, let's have a look. It's probably straps. Yeah. It's probably a box of straps and chains and whatever. Um, on blocks, look. Yeah. So, well, 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 so there we are, look, there's that one, it's too long to get in the screen, isn't it? Uh, so there's that one there, and there's another one up here, isn't it? So, that means we found five pieces, um, five pieces, and this is the, uh, this is where, this is the Vossa stop, on the side of the A5. Yeah. So, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Now, I'm wondering if I wait at the end, will them nutters on push bikes come by me again, do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off now because I'll I'll lose. But do you see the there's a it's arched isn't it there? They're not a flat beam, but they? they all seem to have a curve on them. Hmm. Right then. So we found five pieces. Yeah. So as you can see, look, that's the donkey engine. That that engine provides the, um, the hydraulic power and gets him to move this up and down and to um, and to steer it. And if it was on uneven ground, it would level it up. Ooh. Oh yeah, that tyre's suffered a bit, hasn't it? 
Oh, can you imagine what? You know, it's only air that's keeping them up. And with all this weight, I wonder how many PSI that is. It's in those tyres. Oh, dear me. Mm. It's an eye opener, isn't it? Yeah. And do you remember me telling you about double wheels? It's not these you've got to watch, it's them inside ones. There's a set of there's one, two, three, four. Um, and there's four this side as well, isn't there? Yeah, so we've got eight, 16, 16, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 48. We've got 48 tyres, wheels and tyres on each on each of these trailers alone and there's another whole load of them in here look now this this is dragged to this end here is dragged by the, the towing vehicle so i'm guessing the hydraulic power from this comes out of the track here and it's this hasn't got the, the engine amazing absolutely you know how did we how did we be how what what evolution moved us from being monkeys in the trees to being able to build and design and make something like this amazing isn't it amazing right then my little bunch of furry ones uh, uh this is sunday so i thought i'd come down uh, this is junction 10 on the m6 it's literally five minutes from my house i only live around the corner i thought i would come along and give you an update because uh, this is the last day of my holidays and my annual holidays <laughs> anyway can you see they've uh, they're putting the surface putting the surface on there i don't know whether they're gonna i guess they're gonna concrete it all again and then um put a tarmac or something but uh, it's been a few weeks since I've been here so uh, I thought I would just come and give you a bit of an update on uh, on how the bridge is doing and it's uh, it's coming on nicely because in a few uh, in a few more weeks time they'll be doing over that side and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to them that side but uh, yeah here it is they're making progress they're making uh, progress but it, uh, is it a 68 I'll, I'll check I'll make another little video to go along with this but this is costing millions and millions and millions of pounds hmm so here I am on these steps that I found on the inside on the old path and uh, the motorway itself is quite busy so uh, I'll do the same again I'll risk life and limb for you run across the road uh, so yeah, that's a bit of an update on how they're getting on. <laughs> Here we are at another location. Do you remember? We found the bridge beams, didn't we? And we've been following their journey. Hmm. Well, anyway, as part of following their journey, the front end of this film will be the bridge. But uh, look, I put it on, uh, I put it in the old um, uh, Google. And I found it. But what I wanted to tell you or show you 78 million pounds, 78 million quid. Oh my god, that's a lot of money, isn't it? But that's the um that's the uh the what we've just and they were 44 meters long steel beams. Yeah, weighing between 90 and 120 tons. Yep, this is the Shropshire Star newspaper. So let's, um, yeah, just uh, that's where I put in the search. Uh, M6, M6 Junction 10, and you'll find out your information. So, anyway, I'm going to continue watching my uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, YouTube channel. 
which is uh, Reggie on the road. <laughs> right then, my little bunch of furry ones. Uh, uh, this is Sunday, so I thought I'd come down. Uh, this is Junction 10 on the M6. It's literally five minutes from my house. I only live around the corner. I thought I would come along and give you an update because uh, this is the last day of my holidays, so my annual holidays. <laughs> anyway, can you see? They've, uh, they're putting a surface, they're putting a surface on there. I don't know whether they're gonna, I guess, they're gonna concrete it all again and then um, put a tarmac or something. But uh, it's been a few weeks since I've been here. So uh, I thought I would just come and give you a bit of an update on uh, on how the bridge is doing and it's uh, it's coming on nicely because in a few uh, in a few more weeks time they'll be doing over that side and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to them that side but uh, yeah here it is they're making progress they're making uh, progress but it uh, is it a 68 I'll, I'll check I'll make another little video to go along with this but this is costing millions and millions and millions of pounds. Hmm, so here I am on these steps that I found on the inside on the old path. And uh, the motorway itself is quite busy. So uh, I'll do the same again. I'll risk life and limb for you running across the road. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit of an update on how they're getting on. Here we are at another location. Did you remember? We found the bridge beams, didn't we? And we've been following their journey. Hmm. Well, anyway, as part of following their journey, the front end of this film will be the bridge. But uh, look, I put it on, uh, I put it in the old um, uh, Google and I found it. But what I wanted to tell you or show you, 78 million pounds. <laughs> 78 million quid oh my god that's a lot of money isn't it but that's the um that's the uh the what we've just and they were 44 meters long steel beams yeah weighing between 90 and 120 tons yep this is the shropshire star newspaper so that's um yeah, just uh, that's where I put in the search. Uh, M6, M6 Junction 10, and you'll find out your information. So anyway, I'm going to continue watching my uh, my favourite uh, my favourite uh, YouTube channel, which is uh, Reggie on the Road. <laughs> So this morning I thought I'd come and see how they were getting on with the uh, with the bridge, the beams. And can you see? Let's uh, let's go over here and have a sort of a, a bit of a side view. This side of the junction is open. Look, let's see what we can see. Can you see? Let's see if we can. The beams are already here. They've moved them from their parking places. Obviously last night I would say, and they're here. Look. I'm going to try and get closer. And can you see the train in the background ready to lift them? So see where that, see where that white truck is now up there. I and mean, that's my, where my stop steps are. So I should be able to get a slightly better look. So anyway, I'm on my way round now to, uh, I'm on my way round now to go and find a closer spot. But this, this, um, this road bridge happens to cross over the uh, the motorway. It's going to be spectacular, isn't it? Except this bloody fence. I mean, there's a whole miles and miles of traffic. I mean, I bet you the M6 is completely chocker blocked. But can you can you see? Well, Woohoo! So, oh, there we are. There's a bit. Let's see if I can get that through there without dropping it. That's a better view for you. See. I'm the other side of the wire now, so I hope I don't drop the phone. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, 
So anyway, I'll go and see if I can uh, find a better view for you now. I'll go see. See them? They're in place. You see them, they're in place. Let's fiddle that through there. That's a better view. Right. There we are. So uh, I'll see if I can get closer because at the minute I am quite a way away. Yeah. Right. I'll do my best for you. I thought I'd just, I saw, I was walking back. I was looking at this. Where's this in or out? <laughs> looking at this. There's the roadway. There's the motorway. And here's the pillar. Look. That it's, um, that it comes. There's the pillar on the floor. Whoops, don't drop the phone. Uh, there's the pillar on the floor. And it comes up. And can you see, look? It actually doesn't sit on much, does it? It doesn't actually sit on much. I think it is. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a, a plate that moves, allows it to expand and contract. Because there'll be a joint in there somewhere, won't there? But I wouldn't be surprised if it just sits on there and with the heat and the cold, it allows it to, to move. Hmm. Yeah. But that's what they're sitting on. They're sitting on those concrete pillars, look. Amazing, isn't it? And remember those holes we saw? I haven't seen... Obviously, there's going to be a job for them holes. We'll keep an eye on that. Remind me, remind me to uh, keep an eye on them holes and see what they do with them. I'm trying not to drop the phone. There we are, look. See, he's been backed up, look. Also, they might be lifting fairly shortly then. Oh, does it? Oh, have they? Oh, to get close. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, can you? All oh, right, I'll watch that then. Yeah. All oh, right, okay. I'll do that then, highways. I'll just watch this one finish reversing. There you are, look. Mega money. Oh my god. At least you can at least you get to know where your road tax goes, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Get hammered. Lots and lots of trucks and lots and lots of cars get well hammered, doesn't it? No. Right. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. The gentleman was just telling me it's five hours in between lifts, so they've already lifted one in, he was telling me. And then it takes five hours to de-rig the crane to move it along so they can um, put another one in. Can you see that now coming? He's backing up. Fascinating. Now, the, he, he said you can go on the highways site and they've got a, a, a camera watching all this, so I'm going to do that and find it for you. Yeah. So this morning I thought I'd come and see how they were getting on with the uh, with the bridge, the beams. And can you see? Let's uh, let's go over here and have a sort of a, a bit of a side view. This side of the junction is open, look. Let's see what we can see. Can you see? Let's see if we can... The beams are already here. They've moved them from their parking places, obviously, last night, I would say. And they're here, look. Woohoo! I'm going to try and get closer. And can you see the crane in the background ready to lift them? So see where that... See where that white truck is now, up there. I mean, that's my, where my stop steps are, so I should be able to get a slightly better look. So anyway, I'm on my way round now to... Uh, I'm on my way round now to go and find a closer spot. But this... This... Um, this road bridge happens to cross over the, uh, the motorway. It's going to be spectacular, isn't it? Except 
this bloody fence i mean there's a whole miles and miles of traffic i mean i bet you the m6 is completely chocker blocked but can you can you see look so oh there we are there's a bit see if i can get that through there without dropping it that's a better view for you see except you're the other side of the wire now so i hope i don't drop the phone and i'm in big trouble <laughs> So anyway, I'll go and see if I can uh, find a better view for you now. I'll go see. See them? They're in place. You see them? They're in place. Let's fiddle that through there. That's a better view. Right. There we are. So uh, I'll see if I can get closer because at the minute I am quite a way away. Yeah. Right, I'll do my best for you. So, there was some workmen earlier on where the steps were I wanted to be. But anyway, I've managed to uh, I wait a bit and they've walked off. So, uh, I'm taking my life into my hands for you lot again. <laughs> Heading towards the steps. Let's see what we can see, hey? Let's see what we can see, right. Keep your eyes open. Watch out, watch for the gap. Lights have just changed. Mm, it's gonna be a bit tight running across here, but we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be just fine. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're here. The workmen were here. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a cracking view. We're gonna, shh, we're at our steps, look. Shh. Oh, we can't see, but look, there's the crane. Can you see the crane? Oh, oh, oh. In place, ready to do the lifting. Look at that. Yeah. And I think, I'm not, I think at the moment, I think they're just setting up, they're just setting up the crane. Unfortunately, we can't see the beams. There's no one around, I can't see them. So I'm gonna take a dodger down here. Let's take a dodge around here. I was gonna come that way earlier. I've put my only shirt on, look. So I look like a worker with a bit of luck. Not a shirker. Look at this. Here they are, look. You see the corner of it there? Oh, let's keep going. Hold on, I've been spotted. Oh shit, I've been spotted. Someone's walking towards me. Oh God. This is the bridge, look. Let's see if I get told off. Look at that. Spectacular, isn't it? Let's see if I get kicked off. I'm expecting to be kicked off any minute. Morning, mate. All right, sir. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, look, this is the other side. Ah, shh, keep quiet. Look. Yeah, you can always tell a foreman, he walks quicker, doesn't he? Oh look, this is, this is how they're, can you see? This is the other end of it. Oh, get ready, we're gonna get kicked out. Now maybe they can see that I'm interested. Mm. Look, it's how they're gonna link it to the ground. You see how they're, the steel. Them steel bars tell me that they're going to be making pouring concrete. Yeah. In a, oh, you can't really see that. Let's put you that side. There we are. Those steel bars tell me they're going to be pouring concrete in and around here, all over. Hmm. Let's see what else we can see. Go a bit further on. See the beams are waiting. Let's not go too far. There are the beams, look. The beams are over there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you see them? We're a little closer. We're a little closer, there they are. Waiting, well, look like they're gonna back them up. They'll have to back them up. Ooh, imagine badge backing up something that long. <laughs> anyway, and here's the bridge, look. I'm going to see if I can, oh, the copper's over there, so we won't, we won't go there, we'll get told off. Um, I'll go and see if I can, 
but I'll go and see if we can um, get a bit closer to that. Well, I, I ain't holding out much hope. Anyway, we better get the hell out of here before, you know, most people, most reasonable people would see you that you're just filming and get out of the way quick, give you 10 minutes to get lost. But there's always some jobs worth in brand new orange gear that will come along and kick you off. Yeah, right. We're off then. We're off. I'll come back tomorrow. See, uh, see if we can see a bit more. I thought I'd just, I saw, I was walking back. I was looking at this. Where's this in or out? <laughs> looking at this. There's the roadway. There's the motorway. And here's the pillar. Look, that it's, um, that it comes, there's the pillar on the floor. Whoops, don't drop the phone. Uh, there's the pillar on the floor. And it comes up, and can you see, look? It actually doesn't sit on much, does it? It doesn't actually sit on much, I think it is. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a, a plate that moves, allows it to expand and contract, because there'll be a joint in there somewhere, won't there? But I wouldn't be surprised if it just sits on there, and with the heat and the cold, it allows it to, to move. Hmm, yeah. But that's what they're sitting on. They're sitting on those concrete pillars, look. Amazing, isn't it? And remember those holes we saw? I haven't seen. Obviously, there's going to be a job for them holes. We'll keep an eye on that. Remind me, remind me to uh, keep an eye on them holes and see what they do with them. I'm trying not to drop the, the phone. There we are, look. See, he's been backed up, look. Also, it might be lifting fairly shortly then. Uh, no, 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 it's about five hours to lift the Oh, does it? Oh, have they? Oh, to get close. Lift in the Ah, right. Okay. Oh, can you? All right, I'll watch that then. This is the old one. You go on the website, the highways. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll do that then, highways. I'll just watch this one finish reversing. There you are, look. Mega money. Oh, my God. At least you can at least you get to know where your road tax goes, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Get hammered. Lots and lots of trucks and lots and lots of cars. Get well hammered, doesn't it? No. Right. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. The gentleman was just telling me it's five hours in between lifts, so they've already lifted one in, he was telling me. And then it takes five hours to de-rig the crane to move it along so they can um, put another one in. Can you see that now coming? See, backing up. Fascinating. Now, the, he, he said you can go on the highways site and they've got a, a, a camera watching all this. So I'm going to do that and find it for you. Yeah way back and I just happened to speak to one of the residents that live nearby and I was just having uh, I, I asked could I have a, a little um, opinion so yeah and it's listening to you it's all right no swearing thank you no we don't swear <laughs> <laughs> um so what's your your general opinion about it are you happy uh, well uh, we've got no choice really have we government but yeah I think it, it will be a lot better when it is finished but the traffic will be closer to us. Do you, do you think we don't really hear much anyway? Anyway, it's only when the people are under that that it keeps us away. Uh, and do you think they'll put more modern tarmac so it'll make it quieter? Do you think that type that of thing? That probably will. I think so. Yeah. It's more upgraded. More and less bumps. Less. I find when it's an uneven surface, the noise, the cars make a noise. Yes. With it nice yeah. new surface, it should be. It should be quieter. Shouldn't quieter. It, yeah. Yeah, but it should be a lot better. It's a huge amount of money, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it ain't. And it is, it's, it's going to be absolutely huge. Oh, yeah. Um, 
But this, the, sto the story was, this is sinking. The old road was sinking and there's got a crack in it. Oh, I haven't got a clue down there. I live in uh, Russia, so yeah. I come across the junction. So I don't, we, you, we very rarely go underneath it, do we? But no, apparently there's no, a big crack. When we, when we queue underneath, there's a big crack you can see. Oh, under the... Oh, under, yeah. You can see it from underneath. And it was coming down. Um, and are they are they doing much with your entrance, keeping your entrance more private? Oh, yeah, really, or? Yeah, we've got to see what they're doing. I don't know. But they've still got a good bit to go, haven't they? They have got a lot to go, yeah. You can see it coming on now. Uh, they, they take forever, don't they? No, I'm surprised they beat that area you spend the top of the trees and that there. Oh, yeah. Is, um, but they've been at it a year, more. I think it's been like 10 months now. Do you know when I, spring, I think. When, when I first heard about this, it was 10 million quid. And now it's something like 68 million quid. When they first talk, because I've been here 20 odd years. Yeah. So, uh, and I was gobsmacked when they said they're going to spend 10 million on Junction 10. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have so bad, would you put 60 odd million? Yeah, 60 odd million. But things yeah. cost. The the and, and, the and the work. Is that giving you a better view now? The the bushes and hedges have gone, sort of thing. It is, but we're open to all and sundry. Yeah, the, yeah. So a little a less private. Before, yeah. But sometimes that's a good thing because somebody can't hide and sneakily come to you, good and bad. This positive. It's a neg negative. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. We're it's, it's, we got to move forward. Yeah, we got to. And it's, pr it's produced quite a lot of employment. Yes. Do you think? A lot yes. of people coming and going. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, no right. problem. And I'm not optimistic, you're all right. Whenever you see the car, I'm usually, there's a set of steps over there. I'm usually stood on the steps watching everything. Okay. Watching the progress. Oh, okay. um, I'm Reggie on the road. Do you watch? Sorry. I'm Reg I'm a YouTuber. I do all sorts bikes oh, okay. and uh, yeah. I'm Reggie on the road. Um, oh. You put it in that way. Reggie on the road. Oh, okay. And you might. Uh, you'll see the progress. Well, my little bunch of uh, Reggio maniacs. Mm, we're here again. We're here again. I thought I'd seen a bit of progress. It's noisy today because the roads are wet. But. Um, can you see, look, they're putting, uh, look at these uh, pipes they're putting in. At first I thought, oh, they're pumping hot water to set the concrete off or something like that ready for the winter, but what can it be? It's not power lines, because look, there's a, there's a pylon runs right across the junction, a hell of a distance from that pylon there to this pylon here. So, I'm only guessing it's like telephone lines, uh, internet lines, you know, fibre cable and all that. Because, I mean, if, uh, if you had a, a way of crossing the road, this would be the ideal way to cross your stuff. But obviously, looking at the steel, there's still a lot of steel work to do. Lots and lots of work still to do, a lot of concrete to make. But we didn't see, see them sitting in them boxes there. Hmm. So anyway, I thought I'd seen some progress uh, of these pipe things. And look, it's it's almost got a full surface on it now. Let's see. I can only imagine they're going to put another layer of concrete, a whole big layer of concrete or whatever on top of that. Looking at the rebar sticking up and looking at the rebar in between. That's got to have one hell of a pour of concrete, I would guess. Hmm, so let's, uh, let's take a wondering. See, you know, the other beams have arrived. Do you remember we saw, we saw the big beams come in? The other beams have arrived over there. But it's a much dodgier place to get. I mean, I'm still fairly safe here. I'm on the old footpath. They're beginning to use that end of it up there, look. So it's all looking good. It's all looking fantastic. There's a car with a yellow light just come out. So I'm going to go this way and see what happens. Hmm? I'm going to see if a man approaches us. 
I've got my yellow top on today, so I look like a worker. Yeah. Oh, look. They're doing something here as well, look. You remember? Like a decking. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be all one big pour of concrete. Do you think? Hmm, there's a chance that might become... Let me see the edge. See the... You can see the trim on the inside. That's going to be concrete. You see that? That wooden trim. Oh, let's see. Let's put you over there. Ooh, without dropping you. Right. See that wooden trim? This, this little trim inside. Well, where are we? See this trim along here now? That's, that's like going to be the edge on the, on the paw. So uh, I'd say that's going to be a whole load of concrete in there. I'd say so, I'd guess. Yeah. Oh, and can you see? Is it pylons, you know? Look down there, look. Ooh, don't drop it. Oh, look. They're, um, what are they called? Sheet pylons. Sheet pylons. Come in, innit? Holding the thing together. So there's still lots and lots and lots to work to do. We haven't figured out. We haven't seen them all get used yet, have we? Hmm. No. So, uh, it's definitely making progress. Of course, you've got a busy motorway underneath you, haven't you? So, uh, let's have a look, see how they've done over here. Take a walkies. Oh, there we are. Oh, look. Oh, my God. That's going to be a strong... That's going to be massively strong there. You can see now, look, how they're connecting it. You can see, there, there's them pipes still. Hmm. Let's uh, don't drop the phone. Oh, I'll be in big bother. Right. For all that rebar in place now. That's going to be one huge piece of concrete. Connecting. Ah, we can see the holes being used now, look. Do you remember the holes? We wondered what was happening. Can you see, look? They're using the holes now, aren't they? The, the steel, the steel rebar is going through. The steel rebar is going through the holes in the bridge. Yeah, that's what them holes are for. To connect that there with the concrete. So again, this is going to be one big whole heap of concrete in here. Yeah, they're doing well, aren't they? Everything takes time. Right then, there's uh, this week's update. I'll be back in a few more weeks. I can't get to the other side, but it must be just the same the other side. Mm. So here I am in my orifice watching this so and you know it's a dash cam I'm watching because of the date and the time on there so I'm going to give you a full view on this and we're going to play this from the very beginning okay and play this from the very beginning and you can see why do these idiots take this risk they I saw him coming a mile off from behind uh, why risk your vehicle? Why risk losing your no claims? Why risk all the aggravation of getting it either fixed or replaced? Look, there's plenty of signs. There's nothing in front. This idiot come from way back behind. Way back behind. I saw him coming. I'm thinking, oh yeah, these is, this is one of them plonkers that must get in front of the truck. I must get in front of the truck. If it costs me my life, it don't care. I, oh, I've got in front of the truck. Yeah. Bleeding idiot. Bleeding idiot. Risk your life. Risk your vehicle. Risk your no claims. Risk everything just to get in front of the truck. Or a first class plonker. Morning. I might have shot myself in the foot because usually I come here on a Sunday and it's nice and quiet. But uh, it's uh, Saturday morning this morning. So 
I'm in full camouflage. I've put my hard hat on and I've put my uh, I've put my uh, orange jacket on for our thought. I would just come and give you an update on the old uh, I'm safe behind the barrier now, the old steps have gone, look. I thought I would come and give you a bit of an update on how they're getting along. Look, they're working very hard and there's tons and tons of this uh, steel gone into this big block. Look, the boys are working away. Steel fixers tying it all together. Must do that for you so you get a good view. Don't drop the bone. Yeah. All right, boys. Look at that. So, can you see? Can you see where where the beams were? There's the end of the beams, and then at the end of the beams, there's this massive, massive steel like a huge back steel block is really really interconnected let's go and see how they're getting on look the surface is still there let's not um, embarrass the boys too much and they're working on but there's this big block of um steel rebar it's called um they've got four of them to do so one at the end of that one, one at the end of this one. They're working on this. Oh look, they've poured this one. I'm a little too late. Morning. I'm a little bit too late on this one. They've already poured. Now you won't believe there's a massive amount of steel in there. Huge amount of steel. See them pipes are still there. Let's see if we can get around the corner without going on the road and without entering the site. Hmm. It's uh oh we won't go too far. Yeah. Can you see that? That's one massive big block. We'll just go around this gate a bit. There we are, we've got the gateway, get a nice clear view. That's one massive big block of steel. I'm a bit late really, I should have come a few weeks earlier. Um, that bridge isn't going to move or shift at all massive there's been tons and tons of the, of the stuff I guess this is going to be earth back here and they'll carry on like usual I guess um, they haven't put the surface on it yet it must be um, I don't know how deep that surface is going to be on it hmm. the boys are working away let's uh Let's make our way back again and uh, see what happens. There's no one coming towards us. I'm guessing I can't be the only nutter out here risking life and limb for you lot so we can take a nice drop of this junction six. So I haven't actually seen, I don't come here very often, but I haven't seen anyone here filming. Look, the M6 look. Today, the queue is northbound, Doodly it's southbound, Doodly it's standing southbound. So if you're going south this morning, you're in luck. Yeah, look at this, so they've poured that one. Here we go again, look. Look all this steel. Oh, and the ship's ring. That's going to take some doing. Yeah. And remember, all that's been put in by hand. It's took them weeks and weeks because there's a lot, a lot of steel in there. And they've braced, they've, they've braced, can you see, they've braced the bottom of the ship in. Because you see the weight of the concrete, the wet concrete in there, would break out the bottom of the in. So they've braced the bottom of the in. look. Yeah, we strong, strong boys. This is probably ready for a pour. Yeah. But do you see how dense the steel is? See how strong the do you see how strong the, the how close the bars are and how thick the bars are. 
there's so much tonnage in there and it's all been lifted in by hand yeah all been lifted in by hand and all tied together with wire yeah i'll show you the wire when i get home i've got some steam sting wire right then i better go leave the boys alone brilliant yeah so here i am yet again i'm in disguise look i put my hard hat on <laughs> i'm in full disguise right here i am risking life and limb to uh, give you an update so i know don't i don't do it very often but here we are going underneath junction 10 there's the new bridges we've been watching look there they are look and i turned the camera up slightly so that we could see hmm let's um have a look again that's the bit that we've been watching can you see look there's the old bridge and here's the new bridge that they're working on hmm we don't go under it very often hmm they're coming on well I'll go tomorrow. If it's dry tomorrow, I'll go and take a. Uh, I've, 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 I've got a new plan where I'm going to go. I'm going to try it. They can only throw me off, can't they? So it looks like we're sort of at the same. Don't drop the phone. <laughs> we're at the same sort of stage here, look. Uh, at the, the end of the bridge is connected completely to the ground this side hmm. let's go along a bit more and have a look let's go along a bit more see there they've got to go shall i risk uh no there's no gate there anymore is there can you see look hmm but this is coming around a bit more look i wonder what they uh i wonder what they're doing here I wonder if this just forms part of, look, they've dug it out. And there's the live road, so I don't imagine I'm going much further. Um, I guess they'll just resurface that in some way or change it, but, hmm. See how that's reaching further back now. So obviously this is, um, obviously they're gonna be, uh, putting shuttering around this and uh and making that into a nice good piece hmm so anyway i'll keep my eyes open for you and see what's happening with it being winter time i don't i don't imagine they get much time bad weather rained off all that sort of a thing but anyway uh can we get around there and have a look Oh yeah, let's go around there and have a look, see if we can see anything. So now we're over here. We're, uh, we were over there, now we're over here, look. And they're doing this bit here. Hmm. And coming around. And the slip road. Oh, I can see it now. They've moved. The slip road was here, wasn't it? That's where we were coming onto the roundabout. They've, they've sort of moved it across. Because you can see where the old lines were look you can see the line of of the old road this shiny black stuff is the new road they've pushed it over that way but you see when we first started that was you see the line there that was the slip road that was the slip road coming up here and all the traffic came this way and they've gently pushed this wider they've gently pushed this wider and uh this must be some sort of forming of obviously there'll be an edge there hmm it's gonna be a hell of a wide entrance it's gonna be lots of lanes to choose from maybe i don't know it'll be interesting to watch that now won't we now we've uh, we've noticed that they've changed here's the line of the road at the moment and there's the old line of the road hmm I'm uh, going to cut and put a joint and do whatever they're going to do. Ah, we'll keep an eye on this corner. So let's go over the other side now and have a look. Blimey, it's chilly. You can see now, 
this is the old road how the old road used to be and how you'd get onto the island and can see by quite a bit they've widened it haven't they it'll be interesting to see whether they take this back or leave it nice and wide but the limiting factor is the width of that road this might be as big as they want but you can only go so far into a road and then you're back to an ordinary road aren't you hmm that'll be interesting I just thought I would show you how the road isn't as thick as you think it is depth wise because you see you can see the ground here they're in undisturbed ground it's clay in it it's virgin ground and then you come up so that surface of that old road there was a good depth but there wasn't that big a depth as you think so do you it must be a right uh, right game to make it all measure up the old levels and the new levels and uh, without creating a huge big bump somewhere hmm right let's go over there now we're um we were over there and now we're over here <laughs> and can you see look um they've uh, they've put the steel work in they're gonna shove shutter it um the them kelly blocks i think they're called kelly blocks they'll they'll brace the bottom so the bottom of the concrete these shutters don't break open they've got a bit of work to do yet uh, I presume they'll either bury that or uh, put a nice wall there. Um, here's the the bridge, and this is how it bridges across. Look, a lot of work. Can we see the joints? Can we see the bars going? No, we can't see the bars going through uh, through the beams hanging on you see just see the edge let's put this there don't drop the phone <laughs> right can we see can you see down in there where the end of the um i don't know if you can see it where the end of the steel green on the bridges are working no so this is yet to be uh yet to be finished Mm. but they're coming on they're coming on really well they're making good progress aren't they and the bridge the, the can you see it coming across we better see the connection now let's see if we can see the connection there we are look you can better see where the connection is going to be i'm guessing all the steelwork is like the anchor block for the bridge Hmm. You see the ends of the uh, of the beams going into the steelwork. Well and truly connected, isn't it? Hey, okay. let's come down a bit. Let's go that way. Well and truly connected. Hmm. So let's take a let's take a wandering over there. So well, here's an interesting question for you. Can you see? There's a, a concrete bottom and there's columns, isn't there? It's rising up on columns. Well, it's 2022 now. But who, who invented them? Who, is it the Romans that invented those uh, columns? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Is the motorway thundering beneath us? We're going to get told off. And here we are again. Let me... Let me speak to this man. Right then, let's do it. At the end of this, the man came. The man over there came. He thought I was going to be a jumper. Anyway, I explained to him. I asked him. I said, could I interview him looking away from him or looking at him? And he'd rather not. So that's fair enough, you know. You see what they've done now here? They've put the bottom legs in. See, they've put the, the bottom stretches in. They've backed it up against the bank. So the whole weight of the concrete that will go into that pour won't kick out the bottom of the shutter if you don't secure the bottom there's many a job and the bottom of the shutter has collapsed with the weight of the concrete can you can you can imagine all the weight of the concrete that's going in there now it's going to be enormous isn't it so you've got to support that wall 
with strong backs and stuff. Yeah. Um, let me tell you a quick story. We were in uh, Taz. If you're watching, I don't know if you are. I don't know if you still exist. We were we were in working in Hembrenick, yeah, up in Wales, and uh, we were doing. We used to run. Do you see these beams? Do you see these beams going up and down? They're that heavy to carry. You can't walk with them. You have to run with them. I think these are lighter ones. These are aluminium ones. We were using steel, and they were that when we were younger. You uh, you couldn't carry them. You had to run with them because you just couldn't carry the weight of them. Anyway, we were sitting on top here, and luckily, we were sitting on one bit, and there was the other bit. And these are these are uh, hammered in by hammering the nails. See the see this see this plate and this screw that's put in. It's, it's held on by rebar. So you see, we're looking at that now. Anyway. I'm sitting on the bit that wasn't going to move. We just wanted to, it wouldn't move. We'd released everything and it wouldn't go, it wouldn't go. And he was sitting the other side. And I said to him, for F's sake, just hit it. <laughs> he clobbered it with this piece of wood. And a huge wall fell down. We were stripping it anyway, but we were so lucky nobody got killed that day. So, so lucky. Do you ever remember that? You, the days when we used to, uh, we go in on a Saturday and we'd, uh, we'd drive the dumpers. One would drive the dumper, the other one would be in the front of the dumper and we'd be using fire extinguishers to soak each other. Then were the good days before health and safety. Well, anyway, I better crack on. I'm rumbling on now, aren't I? Yeah. So here we are, look. Have a look at that. And that's going to be the end. Can you see, look? You see how it's going to be all covered in concrete and how they make the joint across and how they link it amazing isn't it absolutely amazing so like i say i asked the gentleman could i interview him and his firm's policy was no and uh, so okay i respect that it's no big deal so uh, anyway let's uh, let's get back to the car safely well then my little bridge holics I am junction uh, 10 again. Uh, it's January. Well, it's nearly the end of January. I've risked life and limb for you yet again. Remember, the steps have gone now, haven't they? So uh, let's have a look. Remember, that was quite a, a deep dip, wasn't it? Yeah, they've, uh, they've filled it in. Them, them pipes are still going across, aren't they? Hmm. But they've uh, filled it in now, do you remember? There was all the shuttering, uh, the steelwork came. Remember the bridge came? Look at this. They're getting on really well. Remember we came here and we, we saw them working on it. And we saw the steelwork going in. So we can now safely say that uh, the bridge uh, and the deck of the bridge has now been completely connected to this side of the earth of the you know this this bit of the bridge is, com is completed as in making the connection remember the steel beams and the the, the steel rebar and all that that they made yeah so now they're um, filling in the ground, so I can't imagine them being very far away now. They'll they'll uh, fill the ground in, and then they'll uh, I'm guessing surface it. So mm, they're not very far away. I wonder what those bars, where are those bars in. I suppose I guess it'll be putting in the um, the barriers to stop you driving over the edge of the damn thing, you know, and a bit more brickwork and a bit more tidying up it's looking really good really good so uh, let's uh, let's move along a bit we'll go over there in a minute because it's not quite so frightening going over there but let's go and have a look at this other end so it looks like we're sort of at the same don't drop the phone 
we're at the same sort of stage here look uh, at the, the end of the bridge is connected completely to the ground this side hmm let's go along a bit more and have a look let's go along a bit more see there they've got to go shall i risk uh no there's no gate there anymore is there can you see look hmm but this is coming around a bit more look i wonder what they uh i wonder what they're doing here I wonder if this just forms part of, look they've dug it out and there's the live road so I don't imagine I'm going much further um, I guess they'll just resurface that in some way or change it but hmm see how that's reaching further back now so obviously this is um, obviously they're going to be uh, putting shuttering around this and, uh, and making that into a nice good piece hmm so anyway I'll keep my eyes open for you and see what's happening with it being winter time I don't I don't imagine they get much time bad weather rained off all that sort of a thing but anyway uh, can we get around there and have a look Oh yeah, let's go around there and have a look, see if we can see anything. So now we're over here. We're, uh, we were over there, now we're over here, look. And they're doing this bit here. Hmm. And coming around. And the slip road. Oh, I can see it now. They've moved. The slip road was here, wasn't it? That's where we were coming onto the roundabout. They've, they've sort of moved it across. Because you can see where the old lines were look you can see the line of of the old road this shiny black stuff is the new road they've pushed it over that way but you see when we first started that was you see the line there that was the slip road that was the slip road coming up here and all the traffic came this way and they've gently pushed this wider they've gently pushed this wider and uh this must be some sort of forming of obviously there'll be an edge there hmm it's going to be a hell of a wide entrance it's going to be lots of lanes to choose from maybe I don't know it'll be interesting to watch that now won't we now we've uh, we've noticed that they've changed here's the line of the road at the moment and there's the old line of the road hmm uh, I'm gonna cut and put a joint and do whatever they're gonna do. Ah, oh, we'll keep an eye on this corner. So let's go over the other side now and have a look. Blimey, it's chilly. You can see now, this is the old road. How the old road used to be. And how you'd get onto the island. And can see by quite a bit they've widened it, haven't they? It'll be interesting to see whether they take this back or leave it nice and wide but the limiting factor is the width of that road this might be as big as they want but you can only go so far into a road and then you're back to an ordinary road aren't you hmm that'll be interesting I just thought I would show you how the road isn't as thick as you think it is depth wise because you see you can see the ground here they're in undisturbed ground, it's clay in it, it's virgin ground. And then you come up, so that surface of that old road, there was a good depth, but there wasn't that big a depth as you think so, do you? It must be a right, uh, right game to make it all measure up, the old levels and the new levels, and uh, without creating a huge big bump somewhere. Hmm. Right, let's go over there now. We're, um, we were over there, and now we're over here. <laughs> and can you see? Look, um, they've, uh, they've put the steel work in. They're gonna shove, shutter it. Um, the, them Kelly blocks, I think they're called Kelly blocks. They'll, 
they'll brace the bottom so the bottom of the concrete these shutters don't break open they've got a bit of work to do yet uh, I presume they'll either bury that or uh, put a nice wall there um, here's the the bridge and this is how it bridges across look a lot of work can we see the joint can we see the bars going no we can't see the bars going through uh, through the beams hanging on you see just see the edge let's put this there don't drop the phone <laughs> right can we see can you see down in there where the end of the um, I don't know if you can see it where the end of the steel green on the bridges are working no so this is yet to be uh, yet to be finished hmm but they're coming on they're coming on really well they're making good progress aren't they and the bridge the, the can you see it coming across and better see the connection now let's see if we can see the connection there we are look you can better see where the connection is going to be i'm guessing all the steelwork is like the anchor block for the bridge hmm you see the ends of the uh of the beams going into the steelwork well and truly connected isn't it Hey, okay. let's come down a bit let's go that way well and truly connected hmm so let's take a let's take a wandering over there well, here's an interesting question for you can you see there's a, a concrete bottom and there's columns isn't there it's rising up on columns well it's 2022 now but who, who invented them? Who, is it the Romans that invented those uh, columns? Hmm, interesting. I see. Is the motorway thundering beneath us? We're going to get told off. And here we are again. Let me let me speak to this man. Right then, let's do it. Near the end of this, the man came. The man over there came. He thought I was going to be a jumper. Anyway, I explained to him. I asked him. I said, could I interview him looking away from him or looking at him? And he'd rather not. So that's fair enough, you know. You see what they've done now here? They've put the bottom legs in. See, they've put the, the bottom stretches in. They've backed it up against the bank. So the whole weight of the concrete that will go into that pour won't kick out the bottom of the shutter. If you don't secure the bottom, there's many a job and the bottom of the shutter has collapsed with the weight of the concrete because can you can imagine all the weight of the concrete that's going in there now it's going to be enormous isn't it so you've got to support that wall with strong backs and stuff yeah um let me tell you a quick story we were in uh Taz, if you're watching i don't know if you are i don't know if you still exist we were we were in working in Hembrenic yeah, up in Wales and uh, we were doing we used to run just see these beams just see these beams going up and down they're that heavy to carry you can't walk with them you have to run with them I think these are lighter ones these are aluminium ones we were using steel and they were that when we were younger you uh, you couldn't carry them you had to run with them because you just couldn't carry the weight of them anyway we were sitting on top here and luckily we were sitting on one bit and there was the other bit and these are these are, are hammered in by hammering the nail see the see this see this plate and this screw that's put in it's, it's held on by rebar so you see we're looking at that now anyway i'm sitting on the bit that wasn't going to move we just wanted it it wouldn't move we'd released everything and it wouldn't go it wouldn't go and he was sitting the other side and i said to him for f sake just hit it <laughs> so he, he clobbered it with this piece of wood and a huge wall fell down we were stripping it anyway but we were so lucky nobody got killed that day 
so so lucky do you ever remember that we, the days when we used to uh we go in on a saturday and we'd uh, we drive the dumpers one would drive the dumper the other one would be in the front of the dumper and we'd be using fire extinguishers to soak each other then were the good days before health and safety well anyway i better crack on i'm rumbling on now aren't i yeah so here we are look have a look at that and that's going to be the end can you see look you see how it's going to be all covered in concrete and how they make the joint across and how they link it amazing isn't it absolutely amazing so like i say i asked the gentleman could i interview him and his firm's policy was no and uh, so okay i respect that it's no big deal so uh, anyway let's uh, let's get back to the car safely well my little bunch of um junction 10 fans <laughs> we're here again just to give you some sort of reference as to where we are do you remember there was a scaffolding set of steps here that i used to uh stand on and uh, survey the survey the junction and look at this remember that was a big hole wasn't it and remember they did the the steel here oh, it's been a while do you remember you'll remember those pipes won't you don't drop the damn phone right you'll remember those um those pipes that we saw going in the steel and remember we came and we saw the shuttering and we saw them put the concrete and can you now see the surface of the bridge well i reckon that coloring that color greeny bluey color you can see I think that is um, sort of waterproofing before they put the last bit of tarmac the next layer of tarmac but isn't it what a what a change what a this coming on really well and do you remember we saw them got a bit of a wall here to finish um, we first saw the beams arrive didn't we Remember, we've we virtually followed we virtually followed these steel beams that you can see under there now. We followed them from when they were parked at the side of the road, didn't we? And you remember, they're doing this wall up. Yeah, we were stood here, weren't we? And the workmen were putting uh, this last bit of bit of lots of it isn't it so there's only that gap to fill and um, so it's not very far away it's not very far away at all look they've got the the barriers uh, up over the side here hmm. I wonder if it's going to be do you know here there's a footpath well a footpath is shut now but I wonder if they're um, Oh look, this is, that's what that Shafrini is doing, is producing this, uh, this lovely edge. We can see the beams, it'll be interesting to see if they paint the beams. But to see how it's, it's beginning to come along now and, and connect. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just, you know, you know we've got this. We've got this badness going on. Human beings killing and harming each other uh, and using their brains and their ingenuity to do it. Well, this is what they should be doing. Making infrastructure, building things, things that will last. Oh, I don't know what the, what the lifespan of this will be. And I'm guessing when they made this original one, they, uh, the numbers they predicted and the numbers that actually happened must be massively different. Look, they're yet to sort of blend this in. It's going to be quite a, quite a, isn't it? Quite a feat of engineering. I am amazed. I am just amazed. And remember, 
we ran across him and we jumped across the barrier and ran across the road oh this is level so probably this will be one of the last times you'll be able to stand here <laughs> and uh, film the uh, the film we, we literally stood it it's a hell of a width on it wow there's a width on it that must be six six lanes more wide that's a hell of a width of these bridges isn't it now you begin to realize it now we stood here look at this and now they're remember the last time we came we uh we saw them sort of building that so you know what they're, they're not very far they're not very far at all are they let's go around this way a little bit hmm and you can see how do you remember last time we were here we uh we see how they've jinked jinked the road over a bit here was the original here was the original approach to the road hmm here was the original approach to the road oh it used to come off come off the motorway and come up here and they sort of moved it over there a bit so oh a building hmm i wonder if that's continue yeah i'm guessing that will come along and continue uh this could be a base for the sign yeah that's what this could be let's go under the rope <laughs> under the rope oh yeah i'm guessing this is they put massive signs up don't they so i'm guessing this is a base for a for a sign hmm Inter shall we oh shall we shall we oh we're gonna get told off if we go down there shall we we're safe we're off the road but um no i better not i better not so anyway let's uh, let's go over to the other side and see how they got on i'm a little mushy bit <laughs> we knew it would happen one day didn't we have um, a traffic officer he wasn't a policeman he had a Volvo estate really really nice understanding guy he was uh, he thought I was a pedestrian on the motorway which actually I was I was in the roadworks blah 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 on site and he said uh, before he even asked me I said you want to know what I'm doing don't you anyway I explained him I'm a youtuber I uh, I uh, t take the films, blah, blah, blah. He understood. And he said, you can't be here. And he told me which way to go. And I said, my bike is up here. I'll leave immediately. I asked if I could film him. Obviously he said no, which is fair enough. You know what I mean? I'm not here to cause anybody any aggro. So, uh, and he's only in interested in my safety after all. You know what I mean? So anyway, we've been cut short this weekend. We might come another nice Sunday, but basically I've been told, whoop, I've been told to get lost. <laughs> so I've been a very obliging and I'm getting lost. So <laughs> it wasn't a part two to the thing. But anyway, see you later, boys. That's interesting. Cause I thought I was unlucky and he'd seen me uh, whilst he was on about his business. But uh, he's come all the way around. And he's gone back down, so I reckon he must have been based. There's, the services is just up the road here. So I reckon maybe security cameras or whatever they've got in place, because obviously they keep an eye on these places. Must have said, uh, Oi, there's a nutter walking around on our site. And that's what he was doing. Anyway, it's, a, it's not a bad thing they look after things. So I put my bike here. We'll, uh, we'll head off home with our tail between our legs. Oh well, there's always another Sunday. Well, my little bunch of um, Junction 10 fans. <laughs> We're here again, just to give you some sort of reference as to where we are. Do you remember there was a scaffolding set of steps here that I used to uh, stand on? and uh, survey, the, survey the junction and look at this remember that was a big hole wasn't it and 
Remember they did the, the steel here. It's been a while, do you remember? You'll remember those pipes, won't you? Don't drop the damn phone, right? You'll remember those, um, those pipes that we saw going in the steel. And remember we came and we saw the shuttering and we saw them put the concrete. And can you now see the surface of the bridge? Well, I reckon that colouring, that colour, greeny bluey colour you can see, I think that is um, sort of waterproofing before they put the last bit of tarmac, the next layer of tarmac, but isn't it? What a, what a change. What a, this is coming on really well. And do you remember, we saw them, got a bit of a wall here to finish. Um, we first saw the beams arrive, didn't we? Remember, we've, we virtually followed, we virtually followed these steel beams that you can see under there now. We followed them from when they were parked at the side of the road, didn't we? And you remember, they're doing this wall up. Yeah, we were stood here, weren't we? And the workmen were putting uh, this last bit of, bit of, lots of it, isn't it? So there's only that gap to fill. And um, so it's not very far away. It's not very far away at all. Look, they've got the, the barriers uh, up over the side here. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be, do you know here, there's a footpath, well, a footpath is shut now, but I wonder if they're, um, oh look, this is, that's what that Shafrini is doing, is producing this, uh, this lovely edge. We can see the beams, it'll be interesting to see if they paint the beams, but to see how it's, it's beginning to come along now and, and connect. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just, you know, you know, we've got this, we've got this badness going on. Human beings killing and harming each other uh, and using their brains and their ingenuity to do it. Well, this is what they should be doing. Making infrastructure, building things, things that will last oh I don't know what the what the lifespan of this will be and I'm guessing when they made this original one they uh, the numbers they predicted and the numbers that actually happened must be massively different look they're yet to sort of blend this in it's gonna be quite a quite a isn't it quite a feat of engineering I am amazed. I am just amazed. And remember, we ran across, didn't we? We jumped across the barrier and ran across the road. Oh, this is level, so probably this will be one of the last times you'll be able to stand here <laughs> and uh, film the uh, the film. We, we literally stood it. It's a hell of a width on it. Wow, there's a width on it. That must be six, six lanes more wide. That's a hell of a width of these bridges, isn't it? Now you begin to realize it. Now we stood here. Look at this. And now they're, remember the last time we came, we, uh, we saw them sort of building that. So you know what? They're, they're not very far. They're not very far at all, are they? Let's go around this way a little bit. Hmm. And you can see how. Do you remember last time we were here? We uh, we see how they've jinked, jinked the road over a bit. Here was the original. Here was the original approach to the road. Hmm. Here was the original approach to the road. Oh, it used to come off. Come off the motorway. We come up here they sort of moved it over there a bit so oh a building hmm I wonder if that's continue yeah, I'm guessing that will come along 
and continue uh, this could be a base for the sign yeah that's what this could be let's go under the rope <laughs> under the rope oh yeah I'm guessing this is they put massive signs up don't they so I'm guessing this is a base for a for a sign hmm Inter shall we Ooh, shall we shall we oh we're gonna get told off if we go down there shall we we're safe we're off the road but um no i better not i better not so anyway let's uh let's go over to the other side and see how they got on a little mushy bit <laughs> we knew it would happen one day didn't we have um a traffic officer he wasn't a policeman he had a Volvo estate really really nice understanding guy he was uh he thought i was a pedestrian on the motorway which actually i was i was in the roadworks blah 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 on site and he said uh, before he even asked me i said you want to know what i'm doing don't you anyway i explained him i'm a youtuber i uh i uh, t take the films blah 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 he understood and he said you can't be here and he told me which way to go and i said my bike is up here i'll leave immediately I asked if I could film him, obviously he said no, which is fair enough, you know what I mean. I'm not here to cause anybody any aggro. So, uh, and he's only in interested in my safety after all, you know what I mean. So anyway, we've been cut short this weekend. We might come another nice Sunday, but basically I've been told, whoop, I've been told to get lost. <laughs> so. I've been a very obliging and I'm getting lost, so <laughs> it wasn't a part two to the thing. But anyway, see you later, boys. That's interesting, because I thought I was unlucky and he'd seen me uh, whilst he was on about his business. But uh, he's come all the way around and he's gone back down, so I reckon he must have been based. As the services is just up the road here, so I reckon maybe security cameras or whatever they've got in place because obviously they keep an eye on these places must have said uh, oi there's a nutter walking around on our site and that's what he was doing anyway it's a it's not a bad thing they look after things so i put my bike here we'll uh, we'll head off home with our tail between our legs oh well there's always another sunday well then, well then, here we are again. We are in our uh, favourite place, Junction 10. It's a lovely bright morning. It's Sunday and it's a quiet morning. So I thought I'd come and do a bit of a catch-up. I'd come and do a bit of a catch-up. It's almost an, um, what's it called? Do you know when you... You, you, you can't, it's almost you can't remember what it used to look like. But uh, look at this. Oh, look at this beauty, look. Do you remember? We put the, put the steel down. We've not been able to come this way before, have we? Because they're, they're moving the roads around a bit. Hmm. Do you remember this is them, uh, we saw, didn't we? We saw the, the tubes going through and that's the continuation of the tubes down through there, look. They went through the bridge. Um, we haven't seen this side before, have we? Around this corner. That's looking really nice, really tidy. Yeah. Um, that's the continuation of the brickwork. That's gonna look nice and, and all that brickwork up there is gonna look nice, yeah. We're looking, uh, and there's the, the bridge. Oh, that must be the drains. I thought it was the curb. Yeah, it is the curb, isn't it? It's, it's where the rain waters. You see, it's making a curve like this. Yeah, and so, hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. So the, the edge, I'm guessing, won't be right by the edge. Hmm, the drain, can you see the drain off the runoff water? Anyway, come on, let's carry on. Are we going to try and do this in one film? So that I don't lose my, uh, so I don't lose my thing. 
Anyway, by the way, look, I'm in disguise. I've got my hard hat with me today. <coughs> you know, before, I didn't put any high-vis gear on. And I'm, I'm guessing there must be a big camera that sort of can't look in detail, but knows if someone's run, moving around. So, remember last time we got kicked off. So, uh, keep, uh, remember this were the original steps, weren't they? What would you see? You see they're bringing that wall along here now, aren't they? Remember the blokes were standing and we saw all the, all the, um, we saw all the, um, the steelwork going in, isn't it? And here's this wall now, look. They're just making the final collect connections and making it nice and tidy. And they're working on this side as well now, look. They're bringing that that block work up. So that's going to look really nice. Yeah. And where were we? Ah, this is where the big hole was, the big dip. And this is, remember, they did all the steel and the big chunk of concrete that connected it to the side. So it's coming on really well. Yeah, it's coming on really, really well. So I can see how one side is going to work. Um, I don't really know if we're going to get over there. We'll try and get over there and we'll have a look at that. But um, obviously this is the original bridge and the original footbridge so we're not sort of getting yourselves in too much of a pickle if you get what I mean. Yeah? And do you remember it was quite a quite a dip. We're back we're back here at this spot over this side now, look. And um, this is where that, where the steel is in the floor. How they're going to marry it. How they're going to, you know, you won't really know you're going over a bridge. They're really good, aren't they? How they figure it out. And remember, that, and they've got the nice railings on here. Um, and they've finished that end up. So, yeah. I don't think they're far away. I think the, you know, the, the big construction side of things. And look, let's go along here now. So, hmm, if that's the curb, and this, this is where the rainwater goes. Can you see, this is where I'm on about. That's quite a curve around. I wonder what's going here. No doubt a bus lane or a cycle lane or It'll be up to all modern standards and have all the modern things, I guess. I'm guessing. Yeah. Look, and we saw that, didn't we? Let's see if we can go along there a bit. It's going to be... <laughs> it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, it? And I find this absolutely amazing where there was no bridge and the bridge wants replacing so you know they have to keep the existing bridge running and where there was no bridge now there's a fantastic bridge what an amazing uh, what an amazing thing isn't it what you can do if you put your mind to it what you can make happen and uh, and all the time keeping the road underneath moving that's the that's the clever bit isn't it they haven't interrupted all right they've they've shut it down for a weekend or two to put the big steel beams in do you remember see this they've um they've they've shut it down a time or two to put the beams in but generally speaking they haven't interrupted that motorway at all they've hardly brought it down to one lane at any time so it's really good isn't it isn't it, uh, it's really, hmm, I'm not going to go on sides because I know, I know there's nothing blocking you and I think you're sort of, but look, can you see, amazing, hmm, amazing, and this was the old original road, the old road that I ran across in the first film to have a look, it's the old road go this way, so come on then. Let's uh, 
let's see what we can let's go over the other side of the junction and see what we can see so we're over here now and we've got a clear view of the old bridge that's the uh, that's the old bridge and the, the two new bridges have gone round the outside and that's the old bridge that's got to come down um, I'm, I've read somewhere I believe the, the thing was sinking I think that's what the problem was over the over the time I don't really know when they made it whenever they these must be the first bridges on the junction when they built the M6 but uh, yeah it's quite a big job and they're doing oh look this this is one of them um, cages I guess this will have a bloody big sign on it oh look at them lovely bolts oh look at these marvelous hold on look at these lovely bolts oh wow and they're inside too look so and can you see this although it is steel it is steel um rebar good strong steel actually do you know uh, it, it's a bit like an aeroplane um it, or, or something like that it's uh, everything is held together with the smallest of pieces and it's just wire just wire and see how they've twisted it's called tie wire and how they've done it look and each crossing every all being tied together uh, stainless steel so it don't perish so once there's a whole load of concrete in there and, and that, so you see that's the thickness of the of the surface of the concrete or thereabouts so there'll be that much thickness of concrete um, around the outside of it and then of course can you see it's connected to the floor as well so they've made this concrete pad here dug a hole made a concrete pad I think there's probably steel under here and then the steel rebar is coming up through the floor which is coming up through this cage and the whole thing will be connected with concrete and shuttering and you can see now look where the you know they'll put like a board here won't they that'll be a that'll be a board up to there and you can see along there how the boards are going to come up to this and there'll be that much of a skin of concrete which is hmm, two or three inches and that'll connect through the bars and you know really clever in it really solid so that when the blur the wind and then obviously there'll be a bloody big sign there telling you what to do and um, by the time that's bolted oh they're lovely lovely nuts on the end of them bolts get too far to reach <laughs> Shall I try and get a little souvenir? This is the bolt from the job. I better not. No, I'll be a good boy. Anyway, oh, here is some of that. Um, here's a roll of that tie wire. Oh, yeah, here it is. Look, do you know, I'm not going to just take it for the sake of taking it, but um, I'm sure if you ask the right person, he'd let you take that with him. Anyway, that's uh, we're not here to do skip scavenging where probably that'll end up in the skip at the end of the job but come on let's continue so here we are we're now the opposite corner to our usual corner there's no fences or this we can just this is the original you know this is the old road so you can see how much they've pushed the road that way and they brought that junction that way, look. That's going to be some... This is what I can't figure out. I can't figure out how they're going to get the traffic that was from over there to here. And now they've got to make it wider, so they've got to try and get the traffic and guide it over onto this bridge here. Well, you know, and I know, bleeding people don't don't follow the markings on the road so many don't they'll just be going their own way and they won't look at the markings on the road and there's going to be a fair few coming together because when the old bridge isn't there and uh, 
they've got to get the traffic see from over there they've got to get that truck say if you was in that truck okay he's on the inside of the island so he's turning right but he's got to get that truck from over there over to here and obviously you've still got to let access so there'll be a big space there'll be a loads of comings together uh oh the coppers are here the traffic people are here anyway so i might get kicked off but we've made it over to this side haven't we we've made it over to this side isn't that there's a there's all there's almost a curve isn't it it's almost uh you'd think a bridge is a bridge and it's straight but it's sort of got a curve on it hasn't it Ooh, amazing brilliant let's see what they're going to do he's driven past me anyway so uh we call i'm not sure if he was a i didn't look that closely i didn't know if he was a a bobby or a a womble but uh obviously well, I wonder, look, there's um, some sort of pipes running over and under. It's quite a wide curb, isn't it? If that's going to be the edge, maybe, or is it just doing the water? Hmm, that's going to be interesting. We'll keep an eye on that, shall we? We'll keep an eye on that. And you see how, oh, you can see now. And you see how this bridge seems to be more curved. There's the old bridge, look. And here's the new bridge. A bit, bit of a curve on it. So let's go on a little more. Again, look. They're, um, they're doing the brickwork and marrying it into the ground. Yeah. Ooh, there's no way is that bridge ever going to move again, I don't think. So this side we can see, look. Yeah, they're using um, columns. So there's the end of the ground, end of the earth. There's the big concrete block that they put in, the end of it. But that's sitting on those big uh, posts, look. Those big, uh, for want of a better name, a Roman column. Do you call that a Roman column? You can't you know, quite see under there. But there's a whole row of them, can you see? underneath I don't know if you can quite see that the whole row of columns Let's see if you can see that from the other side so this connection seems a little different this side because what they've done and they've done that side and you can see the wall the retaining wall on the other side I don't really know where the retaining wall is here is that the retaining wall or is that just held there for now and are they going to fill all this with um, earth and stuff? Because, hold on, let me show you. The edge of the bridge is here, look. The edge of the bridge is here. So this almost looks like a bit that they're going to they're going to deal with maybe next. Once that bit's open, they'll come and attack this bit and do whatever. You see, we're on top of the. Here are those columns again, look. Let's have a look. Here are those columns again. Under here. Can you see them? Yeah. Lovely. Hmm. There's a bit more to do on this. They're gonna have, yeah. There's a bit more to do in this corner. It's the last sort of connection for whatever reason. Hmm. Brilliant. Right, we better we better skedaddle before they uh, they uh, they look at the cameras and they go that git is still here we will go and get rid of him so anyway i hope you've enjoyed that this lovely this lovely can you see look it's really narrow here so yeah this is going to be part of something part of the road i bet you when it's finished and i'm stood here i'll be in the middle of the road, you know but anyway Hmm. Tagastle, a lit no, not a lit axle. Yeah. Lift axle. Right, so let's get back to the car safely now. So let's have a look what I'm on about. Hmm. I'm on about coming from here over to here. Now, can you see this is they've just started the works on this. I've come onto Google Earth 
obviously it's not live and at the scene it's uh it's got a bit to do but the the new bridge is going here and the other new bridge is going over here you know usually i park my car here and i walk around and i this is where the steps that's where i always begin my film from and last time we walked around didn't we but where i see a massive problem and I, it'll be very interesting to see how they deal with it and actually you can see if we zoom in if we zoom on there you can see where the traffic is can you see the traffic there and that's the current position of the traffic and and i'm sure there's not a hell of a lot you can do about this which is where it enters but when they come out of warsaw they're gonna obviously they've thought of a plan it'll be very interesting to see but they're gonna get this lot and at the moment it's sort of drive ahead of yourself when you come here and obviously that bridge will get knocked down but how are they gonna get and obviously this space will have to stay open won't it because that traffic comes this way how are they gonna get this traffic from here to follow itself to come onto the bridge which is about here isn't it the new bridge is about here and that's one hell of a distance without uh, curbs and markers and stuff so come on then give me your thoughts on how are they going to get the traffic to make this turn to go sort of go straight ahead and then they'll either come down this way towards Bilston or they'll go head off the M6 but that's quite a and and you have to keep this area open you can't put barriers on the thing in front of it because the vehicles coming around and coming on to the motorway are going to come this way so how are they going to get these vehicles across here short of markings on the floor and and you know and i know most car drivers ignore the markings on the floor mm, i'm really looking forward to that yeah so that's what we've been uh, that's junction that's google earth picture of um the junction we've been looking at and uh, obviously they've put a new bridge here they're they're well on their way with it and they put another new bridge here and they're well on the way with that as well hmm give me your thoughts what how do you think they're going to get that across i reckon there's going to be loads of bumps and scrapes and bibs and swearing and road rage on here to get that lot to come here yeah, i think so well peeps here we are again Remember, I, it was Saturday yesterday when I came. It's now Sunday. Um, it's tea time, two o'clock ish, something like that. Nearly tea time. And look at this. They've done. Look at that. Haven't they done such a brilliant job? And look at the beginning to. They've lifted. You know, all them beams are on the floor protecting the tarmac. So they've lifted all the beams, haven't they? Off the floor. They're at it now, aren't they? Lifting the beams. And then they'll brush the floor and clean it and put the barriers back and, you know. What a fantastic, fantastic job. Blimey. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Let's see what we can do. Get a bit closer to the bloody thing moves. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sort of dawdling a bit so that he doesn't uh if I catch if I go in front of him he'll pull over and tell me oi get lost so let's wait for him to go and then we'll go across and we'll go that far and get a closer look. So look at this then they haven't got far to go have they? They're nearly done they've nearly done this one they're not far off at all no it's looking uh, pretty close Looking really pretty close. So look at this then. Oh, this is the, I tell you what, there was some steel in that. There was some thickness of steel in that bridge, wasn't there? From way back. Look at that. Can you see some of the bars? Blimey. What a, what a, all broken and chomped and chopped up. So here they are, look. That's it, look. Cleaning the floor to 
think we'll be able to get around the top there to have a look. Maybe not. Let's see how we we saw they were working on that look and it's been brought well back. It'd be interesting to see if they leave that there or they remove it completely because I'm guessing this must be some sort of base or good. You know they did a big big pile on this side didn't they so I reckon um, that's going to be that's going to be amazing whether they'll get rid of that or they'll keep it on that side and have to get rid of it. Hmm. Yeah. He's up here. Oh, I tell you what, some money's seventy-eight million pounds. I'll show you the clip. What this is, what it's cost. What a huge amount of money. Yeah. One of my um, good subscribers commented on the other film that uh, these bridges are 60 years old. Well, this is junction 10 of the M6. So when they built the M6, or this stretch of the M6, uh, does that mean there's 10 more bridges in the near future got to be replaced? How long are they going to last if they were built 60 years ago? Oh, you know, there's a hell of a lot of money to be spent. Oh, a huge amount of money, isn't there? Can you even imagine 78 million quid? Oh, God. But I mean, nothing comes cheap. Look at all this fantastic equipment. Uh, that's, uh, there's some money's worth of equipment on here. And I'm guessing there would have been a fair fair bit of wear and tear on um, on pulling this bridge down you know they would have gone through a good few parts do you think the end of the tips and all that sort of a thing you know and maybe the odd hydraulic pipe or the odd breakdown it's a tough job to do all that isn't it but i can't believe the thickness of the steel Blimey. Let's go down a little further, we'll get told so we won't go too far. We'll get a bit closer, look at that. Wow. That took uh, But, do you know what? We're amazing what we can do. We can, only, as humans, we can build a bridge and we can pull a bridge down, can't we? Absolutely amazing. Let's go see if we can get up there. I'm not sure we'll chance it. So here I am, look, one of the you, foreman, one of the foremen have uh, spotted me and he's going to take me back to the car. He's not going to allow me to go back. So we knew it was going to happen sooner or later. So I've just been, uh, I'm getting a lift back to my car. It's a lot safer. So here we are. Look at this. Fantastic. Remember, you've protected it, you've protected the sleepers. So that's that that's me he found me and he gave me a lift back damn kicked me off but he did uh, he did he, uh, 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 obviously they can't talk and they can't say things because it's work and you know but I uh, had a very very interesting conversation um, and yeah and they've done about the best and one of the residents did ask me he was wondering what what they're gonna put back here because this was uh, in the, it, originally this was a really nice place to live and you didn't really hear the, mo the motorway living here it was a really secluded place because there was loads of trees and greenery and all that well they're going to put more back than what they took out and um it, it's strategically placed as the gentleman told me so everything's been meticulously planned hmm yeah so Really good, really, really good. Well, peeps, here we are again. Remember, it was Saturday yesterday when I came. It's now Sunday. Um, it's tea time, two o'clock, something like that. 
nearly tea time. And look at this. They've done. Look at that. Haven't they done such a brilliant job? And look at the beginning to. They've lifted. You know, all them beams are on the floor protecting the tarmac. So they've lifted all the beams, haven't they? Off the floor. They're at it now, aren't they? Lifting the beams. And then they'll brush the floor and clean it and put the barriers back. And you know, what a fantastic, fantastic job. Blimey. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Let's see what we can do. Get a bit closer. The bloody thing moves. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sort of dawdling a bit so that he doesn't. Uh, if I catch, if I go in front of him, he'll pull over and tell me, "Oi, get lost!" So let's wait for him to go, and then we'll go across and we'll go that far and get a closer look. So look at this then. They haven't got far to go, have they? They're nearly done. They've nearly done this one. They're not far off at all. No, it's looking uh, pretty close. Looking really pretty close. So look at this then. Oh, this is the. I tell you what, there was some steel in that. There was some thickness of steel in that bridge, wasn't there? From way back. Look at that. Can you see some of the bars? Blimey. What a. What a. All broken and chomped and chopped up. So here they are, look. That's it, look. Cleaning the floor. Do you think we'll be able to get around the top there and have a look? Maybe not. Let's see how we... We saw they were working on that, look, and it's been brought well back. It would be interesting to see if they leave that there or they remove it completely, because... I'm guessing this must be some sort of base or good. You know, they did a big, big pile on this side, didn't they? So I reckon um, that's going to be that's going to be amazing. Whether they'll get rid of that or they'll keep it on that side and have to get rid of it. Hmm. Yeah. He's up here. Oh, I tell you what, some money. 78 million pounds. I'll show you the clip, what this is, what it's cost. What a huge amount of money. Yeah. One of my um, good subscribers commented on the other film that uh, these bridges are 60 years old. Well, this is Junction 10 of the M6. So when they built the M6, or this stretch of the M6, uh, does that mean there's 10 more bridges in the near future got to be replaced? Uh, how long are they going to last if they were built 60 years ago? Oh, you know, there's a hell of a lot of money to be spent. Oh, a huge amount of money, isn't there? Can you even imagine 78 million quid? Oh, God. But I mean, nothing comes cheap. Look at all this fantastic equipment. Uh, that's, uh, there's some money's worth of equipment on here. And I'm guessing there would have been a fair, fair bit of wear and tear on, um, on pulling this bridge down. You know, they would have gone through a good few parts. Do you think the end of the tips and all that sort of a thing? You know, and maybe the odd hydraulic pipe or the odd breakdown. It's a tough job to do all that, isn't it? But I can't believe the thickness of the steel. Blimey! Oh, let's go down and look further. We'll get told we won't go too far. We get a bit closer. Look at that! Wow! That took. Uh, but do you know what? We're amazing. What we can do, we can own. As humans, we can build a bridge and we can pull a bridge down, can't we? Absolutely amazing. Let's go see if we can get up there. I'm not sure we'll chance it. So here we are. Look at this. Fantastic. Remember, you've protected it, you've protected the sleepers. And there's the end. You can't be gay. It's not 
like the other fencing, but you can you get the idea, don't you? The other banging. You look at this one. Fantastic. Absolutely. Oh yeah, that, that corner's got to be finished off yet. Keep watching that, yeah. Look at the steel. Blimey, blimey, blimey. So here I am, look. One of the you, foreman, one of the foremen of uh, spotted me and he's going to take me back to the car he's not going to allow me to go back so we knew it was going to happen sooner or later so i've just been uh, i'm getting a lift back to my car it's a lot safer for your own. so that's that that's me he found me and he gave me a lift back damn kicked me off but he did uh he did he, uh, 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 obviously they can't talk and they can't say things because it's work and you know but I uh, had a very, very interesting conversation. Um, and yeah, and they've done the, the best. And one of the residents did ask me, was wondering what, what they're gonna put back here. Cause this was, uh, in the, it, it, originally this was a really nice place to live. And you didn't really hear the, mo the motorway living here. It was a really secure, looted place cause there was loads of trees and greenery and all that. Well, they're gonna put more back than what they took out and um, it, it's strategically placed, as the gentleman told me. So everything's been meticulously planned. Hmm, yeah, so really good, really, really good. Well, my little uh, bunch of uh, bridge o maniacs, <laughs> we're here again. And I can hear you asking, saying, Reggie, why the hell are you here again? You were here last weekend, weren't you? Yeah, well, the reason I'm here today is because this is the last chance I'm going to be able to come here and look at that bridge because they're knocking down the old bridge now, aren't they? See, if you remember, we were around here somewhere, weren't we? And the scaffolding, and we came on the scaffolding, and remember, this was a big hole. But look, this is, uh, this is going to have to be open for them to work on it. So this is the first time for us to actually step onto the bridge. So they've probably got, you know, a bit more work to do, uh, but this will be nice and ready for um, when, uh, when they take this bridge down. And we haven't seen it from this side before, have we? We've never really looked at it from this side. Let's, um, can you see? Mm. That's the bridge that we've been standing on. This is the bridge that's going to come down. Yeah. Next weekend. Do you remember they did the bridge across the road, didn't they? That was the southern bridge, so that was on the southern edge. And this is the northern bridge, which is the north side of the junction. Look at this. We've not seen it from here before, have we? Oh, unfortunately, the grids are too small to stuff my phone through. Hmm. But you've got the idea of it, haven't you? There's a much closer look at it. That's gonna go next weekend, so I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere near it. I don't even think I'll be able to get over there to look at it this way. Hmm. But they'll shut it and they'll put a whole load of sleepers and they'll, um, and they'll be able to, uh, pull this down as well they did it pretty quick last time they really uh, you know you put your mind to it they put a lot of equipment on it didn't they blimey it's nice to really see real progress you know sometimes you look at the thing and although there's people working and doing stuff you don't always see it do you no but um and here we are look this is the other side of it it's very odd feeling because it feels as if that traffic's going to come this way but it's not because we they haven't opened this bit yet we haven't been over here before have we and we've seen the approach and you see that's the that's the motorway heading towards the junction here isn't that just <laughs> uh, i'm not sure we'll be able to do this again because probably this will be well open and you know. So that is the M6. We're stood above the M6 North now. That was the M6 South. Ooh, that's a nice Porsche. 
Yeah. Oh. Do you know what? If you stand above these bridges, you know people going to shows, I bet you see you don't have to see some toys going kind of going up and down these motorways, don't you? So I'm going to come away from the edge in case somebody's watching and they think there's going to be a bit of sadness going on. So we don't want to do that, do we? But anyway, this is they're going to be bringing that around. And in this way, fantastic, a hell of a wit. Oh, that's the edge of the road, look. And this is the edge of the road. So I don't know how they're going to divide the lanes up. Are we going to have a bus lane or... I really don't know. But you can see it now, look. It's quite a quite a curve. It, it doesn't look like a curve. And you know, they put those beams in. Well, the reason they wanted that many beams is because the, the road curves above the beams, don't they? Because of course it's a roundabout, it's a roundabout junction. That's what they call it, don't they? Yeah. And see, this is where the new meets the old. So they'll be getting rid of that, won't they? Let's go down there a bit and see if we can see something underneath there, look. There must be pipes and services and whatever. You remember we saw the pipes here, didn't we? I wonder if these new ones there were to replace what they were doing. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Let's go up here a little bit. There we are. Can you see? Uh oh, uh oh, are they looking? I hope they're not looking for me. Are they keeping going round? No, they're going over. Good. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, right. I'm going to make my way round to the other side of that fence. So, you can see, they've, uh, when the bus goes, you can see, <laughs> they've well disposed of the end of that bridge now, haven't they? They've done a fantastic job of clearing it all away and you can more see the, the new bridge and what the new bridge is going to do on this side you remember we weren't sure how far back they were going to go so uh mm, amazing and do you see this you can i don't know if you can i don't know if you can see that let's see it's uh it's got some it's not different if you remember the other side, the old bridge, it had sort of, it was in like four squares set, it had like things running across, it was in sections, it was different to this. You'd expect that to be exactly the same as this, built at the same time, but that one was a slightly different sort of a surface and shape on it than this one. But you know, isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? So, uh, Brilliant, ah. Some of big's gone on. I don't know where they're going. Something that's very, uh, very big has gone on. Loads of them. Mm. Oh, right. Let's uh, work our way over to there and let's have a look. The V8 Range Rover. Oh, let's go. Oh, right. Let's go see if we can make our way over to there. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be this is going to be the last time, the last opportunity to, uh, to stand here and uh, look at the bridge. Yeah. Um, it's very... Uh, uh, I said to the guy last week, isn't it, isn't it odd, look? We're very modern, but we're still using Roman columns, aren't we? In our construction and way of thinking. <laughs> oh, look at this wall now. They've done a really nice job on finishing this wall. It's going to look really good, isn't it? Once they've um, finished doing what they've got to do, and isn't that a nice tidy? That's a lovely tidy end on there now. Lovely tidy end. Really nice. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. So let's see if we can cross the road. <laughs> Remember, we were looking at that. They're probably getting ready to put a sign on there, aren't they? But look, these lovely bolts are still here. Oh, so, so tempting to take them home, but I don't want to get myself into trouble. Now, here we are. Now, the steel 
it's definitely reduced you remember there was a whole there was a whole load of that steel that, that it's quite deep so they are dealing with it getting rid of it i'm guessing they'll um they'll put the stuff off that bridge here i'm guessing hmm so where else are we gonna go now can you see you can see the other side how far back that extended the last time we saw it um there was still a lot of it left wasn't there there's still a hell of a lot of it left yeah isn't that just brilliant mm. it's about to rain so it's nearly time for me to there the you there can you see on the floor can you see on the floor that big chop thing that chopped the, the steel and the metal and the crushed the concrete wow wow there's some equipment on the job isn't there that's some hell of a job and that's the bridge next weekend that bridge is the bridge that's going to go that will be no more hmm and i don't know after that whether i'll be able to get on here and make any films but i'll keep an eye out of everything for you but you'll remember won't you remember we uh the traffic was coming this way remember that's how it used to come and now they've diverted it onto the new bridge this is where we used to run across and this is the edge of uh, look of where they've removed the bridge <laughs> look see that's where the pavement and the old the old road was isn't it uh, isn't it fascinating because we'll once this is done and finished oh them bolts are still there <laughs> oh dear me oh look see where the old one beautiful they've done a cracking job you know haven't they and you can see it's quite a curve isn't it this uh, no wonder it took these extra beams and this extra width because it's quite a quite a circle let's have a closer look at this edge here now here we are look oh oh look at that oh my god there was some steel in there wasn't there there was i don't know how long it would have lasted or or would it have just sort of sagged or but, you know if you hadn't have replaced it what would have been the ultimate uh, demise of it yeah uh, I bet you there was some whole load of footings and concrete in there have to be dealt with. Wow. Isn't it amazing what human beings can do? So here we are. We're coming to the... Um, we wondered how they were going to deal with this, weren't they? Obviously, they're going to fill it up. We're, uh, look at this. Because we were... Remember last time we were stood on the bridge there looking onto here, weren't we? And look at this. They've done a cracking job of clearing it all away there's a hell of a lot of police and ambulances and ambulance going that way hmm hell of a lot of activity going on let's be careful let's have a look yeah look at that they've done a really nice job real tidy job of uh, dealing with it all yeah you see where the old road was so I don't think I'll get here to be able to see that one being demolished. But you can see now, can't you? This is the bridge they're going to get rid of next week. And this is the bridge they got rid of last week. Yeah, a lot of work. Oh, major, major work. What's that called? Sheet piling, isn't it? Those have been hammered into the ground. So I'm guessing they'll fill this and continue it on I mean this is what I find fascinating we know about steel steel is steel but you know this concrete when it arrived or when they started making it it was mixed with water it was sloppy and weak isn't it amazing how concrete goes so hard um, it's a bit like a tree you can get a big massive tree and you can put it on fire and it becomes a pile of ash well, it's almost the other way. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're lovely. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I wonder what that is. Oh, I wonder 
what that's going to be. It's going to be some sort of sign there, I guess. But yeah. And as always, bibbing and babbing, you're in roadworks, nobody's really sure where they're going, and they still insist on bibbing, don't they? Anyway, yeah, so this is, we've stood on the new bridge, we've been over there, we've been over here, fantastic, amazing, amazing. This is what, uh, is it 78 million quid's worth of uh, work looks like? Wow, 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 wow. I mean, Jimmy, that's some hell of a machine, that is, Jimmy. One hell of a machine. You need some one hell of a machine to operate it. What number is that? A 470. That's a, you know, a good track on it, yeah. Mm. Anyway. I was wondering about how they were going to get us onto the new bridge. It seems to be all right, but the people that are meant to go left are fine until they discover, oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane, and then they try and come right. There'll be some uh, goings on, I reckon, until everyone gets used to it. Hmm. Oh, I see it now. Look, this is going to be a gantry. This is going to come from there to over there. This is going to be an overhead sign. The same as what we were looking over there. I wasn't sure. I thought this was here on its own. But uh, it's not here on its own. It's got his partner over there, look. So there's going to be big signs above the top here. I guess. Anyway. Hmm. Well, my little uh, bunch of uh, bridge maniacs <laughs> We're here again. And I can hear you asking, saying, Reggie, why the hell are you here again? You were here last weekend, weren't you? Yeah, well, the reason I'm here today is because this is the last chance I'm going to be able to come here and look at that bridge because they're knocking down the old bridge now, aren't they? See, if you remember, we were around here somewhere, weren't we? And the scaffolding. And we came on the scaffolding, and remember, this was a big hole. But look. This is, uh, this is going to have to be open for them to work on it. So this is the first time for us to actually step onto the bridge. So they've probably got, you know, a bit more work to do. Uh, but this will be nice and ready for um, when, uh, when they take this bridge down. And we haven't seen it from this side before, have we? We've never really looked at it from this side. Let's, um, can you see? Hmm, that's the bridge that we've been standing on. This is the bridge that's going to come down. Yeah, next weekend. Do you remember they did the bridge across the road, didn't they? That was the southern bridge, so that was on the southern edge. And this is the northern bridge, which is the north side of the junction. Look at this. We've not seen it from here before, have we? Oh, unfortunately, the grids are too small to stuff my phone through. Hmm. But you've got the idea of it, haven't you? There's a much closer look at it. That's going to go next weekend, so I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere near it. I don't even think I'll be able to get over there to look at it this way. Hmm. But they'll shut it and they'll put a whole load of sleepers and they'll... Um, and they'll be able to uh, pull this down as well. They did it pretty quick last time. They really, uh, you know, you put your mind to it, they put a lot of equipment on it, didn't they? Blimey. It's nice to really see real progress, you know. Sometimes you look at a thing, and although there's people working and doing stuff, you don't always see it, do you? No. But, um, and here we are, look. This is the other side of it. It's a very odd feeling because it feels as if that traffic's gonna come this way, but it's not because we're, they haven't opened this bit yet. We haven't been over here before, have we? And we've seen the approach. And you see, that's the, that's the motorway heading towards the junction here. Isn't that just... <laughs> uh, 
I'm not sure we'll be able to do this again because probably this will be well open and you know so that is the M6 we're stood above the M6 North now that was the M6 South oh that's a nice Porsche yeah oh do you know what if you stand above these bridges you know people going to shows I bet you see you don't have to see some toys going going up and down these motorways don't you so I'm going to come away from the edge in case somebody's watching and they think there's going to be a bit of sadness going on so we don't want to do that do we but anyway this is they're going to be bringing that around and in this way fantastic a hell of a wit oh that's the edge of the road look and this is the edge of the road so I don't know how they're going to divide the lanes up are we going to have a bus lane or I really don't know but you can see it now look it's quite a quite a curve it it doesn't look like a curve and you know they put those beams in well the reason they wanted that many beams is because the, the road curves above the beams don't they because of course it's a roundabout it's a roundabout junction that's what they call it don't they yeah and see this is where the new meets the old so they'll be getting rid of that won't they let's go down there a bit and see if we can see something underneath there look there must be pipes and services and whatever you remember we saw the pipes here didn't we I wonder if these new ones there were to replace what they were doing fascinating absolutely fascinating let's go up here a little bit there we are can you see uh oh uh oh are they looking Oh, they're not looking for me. Are they keeping going round? No, they're going over. Good. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, right. I'm going to make my way round to the other side of that fence. So, you can see, they've, uh, when the bus goes, you can see, <laughs> they've well disposed of the end of that bridge now, haven't they? They've done a fantastic job of clearing it all away. And you can more see the the new bridge and what the new bridge is going to do on this side you remember we weren't sure how far back they were going to go so uh mm, amazing and do you see this you can i don't know if you can i don't know if you can see that let's see it's uh it's got some it's not different if you remember the other side the old bridge it had sort of it was in like four squares set it had like things running across it was in sections it was different to this you'd expect that to be exactly the same as this built at the same time but that one was a slightly different sort of a surface and shape on it than this one but you know isn't this amazing isn't this amazing so uh brilliant ah Something big's gone on. I don't know where they're going. Something very, uh, very big has gone on. Loads of them. Mm. Oh, right. Let's uh, work our way over to there and let's overlook the V8 Range Rover. Oh, let's go. Uh, all right. Let's go see if we can make our way over to there. Yes. Yeah, so this is going to be. This is going to be the last time, the last opportunity. To, uh, to stand here and uh, look at the bridge yeah um, it's very uh, I said to the guy last week isn't it isn't it odd look we're very modern but we're still using Roman columns aren't we in our construction and way of thinking <laughs> oh look at this wall now they've done a really nice job on finishing this wall it's going to look really good, isn't it? Once they've um, finished doing what they've got to do, and isn't that a nice tidy? That's a lovely tidy end on there now. Lovely tidy end. Really nice. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. So let's see if we can cross the road. <laughs> Remember, we were looking at that? 
probably getting ready to put a sign on there, aren't they? But look, these lovely bolts are still here. Oh, so, so tempting to take them home, but I don't want to get myself into trouble. Now, here we are. Now the steel, it's definitely reduced. You remember there was a whole, there was a whole load of that steel. That, that, it's quite deep, so they are dealing with it, getting rid of it. I'm guessing they'll, um, they'll put the stuff off that bridge here, I'm guessing. Hmm. So where else are we gonna go? Now can you see? You can see the other side. How far back? that extended. The last time we saw it, um, there was still a lot of it left, wasn't there? There was still a hell of a lot of it left. Yeah. Isn't that just brilliant? Mm. It's about to rain. So it's nearly time for me to... There, the, you there. Can you see on the floor? Can you see on the floor that big chop thing that chopped the, the steel and the metal and the crushed the concrete? Wow, wow, there's some equipment on the job, isn't there? That's some hell of a job, and that's the bridge. Next weekend, that bridge is the bridge that's going to go. That will be no more. Hmm. And I don't know after that whether I'll be able to get on here and make any films. But I'll keep an eye out of everything for you. But you'll remember, won't you? Remember, we uh, the traffic was coming this way. Remember, that's how it used to come. And now they've diverted it onto the new bridge. This is where we used to run across. And this is the edge of, uh, look, of where they've removed the bridge. Look, see, that's where the pavement and the old, the old road was. Isn't it, uh, isn't it fascinating? Because we'll, once this is done and finished, oh, them bolts are still there. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, look, see where the old one, beautiful. They've done a cracking job, you know, haven't they? And you can see it's quite a curve, isn't it? This, uh, no wonder it took these extra beams and this extra width, because it's quite a, quite a circle. Let's have a closer look at this edge here now. Here we are, look. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, there was some steel in there, wasn't there? There was, I don't know how long it would have lasted or or would it have just sort of sagged or, but you know, if you hadn't have replaced it, what would have been the ultimate uh, demise of it? Yeah. Uh, I bet you there was some whole load of footings and concrete in there have to be dealt with. Wow. Isn't it amazing what human beings can do? So here we are, we're coming to the, um, we wondered how they were going to deal with this, weren't they? Obviously, they're going to fill it up. We're, uh, look at this, because we were, remember last time we were stood on the bridge there looking onto here, weren't we? And look at this, they've done a cracking job of clearing it all away. There's a hell of a lot of police and ambulances and ambulance going that way. Hmm hell of a lot of activity going on let's be careful let's have a look yeah look at that they've done a really nice job real tidy job of uh, dealing with it all yeah you see where the old road was so I don't think I'll get here to be able to see that one being demolished but you can see now, can't you? This is the bridge they're going to get rid of next week. And this is the bridge they got rid of last week. Yeah, a lot of work. Oh, major, major work. Yeah. What's that called? Sheet piling, isn't it? Those have been hammered into the ground. So I'm guessing they'll fill this and continue it on. I mean, this is what I find fascinating. We know about steel, steel is steel, but you know, this concrete, when it arrived, or when they started making it, it was mixed with water, it was sloppy and weak. Isn't it amazing how concrete goes so hard? Um, it's a bit like a tree. You can get a big, massive tree, 
and you can put it on fire and it becomes a pile of ash. Well, it's almost the other way. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're lovely. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I wonder what that is. Oh, I wonder what that's going to be. It's going to be some sort of sign there, I guess. But yeah. And as always, bibbing and babbing, you're in roadworks, nobody's really sure where they're going, and they still insist on bibbing, don't they? Anyway, yeah, so this is, we've stood on the new bridge, we've been over there, we've been over here, fantastic, amazing, amazing. This is what, uh, is it 78 million quid's worth of uh, work, looks like? Wow, 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 wow. I mean, Jimmy, that's some hell of a machine, that is, Jimmy. One hell of a machine. You need some one hell of a machine to operate it. What number is that? A 470. That's a, you know, a good track on it, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. I was wondering about how they were going to get us onto the new bridge. It seems to be all right, but the people that are meant to go left are fine until they discover, oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane, and then they try and come right. There'll be some uh, goings on, I reckon, until everyone gets used to it. Hmm. Oh, I see it now. Look, this is going to be a gantry. This is going to come from there over there this is going to be an overhead sign the same as what we were looking over there I wasn't sure I thought this was here on its own but uh, it's not here on its own it's got his partner over there look so there's gonna be big signs above the top here I guess anyway hmm Alexa turn lamp off okay Alexa turn lamp on okay Alexa, turn lamp on 100%. Okay. Turn, Alexa, turn lamp off 50%. Mm. Alexa, turn lamp off. Okay. Alexa, turn lamp on 50%. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, why have you spent money on that when I could say, Debbie, turn lamp on. Debbie, turn lamp off. Debbie, dim the lamp. <laughs> blimey, blimey, blimey. So my little furry bears, as you can see, or what you will see, uh, I've been to the bridge again, took a few films. Uh, I was on my way back. I'd done all my, what I wanted to do. I was working with my back and I see this guy in this uh, orange suit and and hard hat and stuff and i knew he wanted to see me and he said oi what word are you <laughs> so fine he said, you, you're not supposed to be here it's very dangerous and yeah it is very dangerous you've got to be very careful and not panic and not run and you know what i mean so i'm being as careful as i can and he says we can't be here so i offered him my card i said oh i'm reggie on the road he says i don't care who you are and i said you you're welcome to have my card I always carry my card with me. Oh, I've put it back now. I always carry my card. No, I don't want your card. I want your offsides. <laughs> so, again, he approached me quite firmly. And, you know, you talk to him and you mellow him and, you, you know, you show you sh you're enthusiastic for the job. And he sort of understood. And I said, I followed the beams and I live in Warsaw. And basically he says, look, I don't give a damn. I want your offsides. I want you gone. You're not supposed to be here. You're causing me loads of aggro, which is fair enough. You know, uh, I, I, I'd, he'd had a phone call. He'd been disturbed from what he was doing, f uh, 400 tons of tarmac to come and get rid of me. And then he said to me, well, I don't want to be killed coming to fetch you off, he said. So don't come back. So, OK, I, maybe I have been pushing it. I shouldn't. We know we shouldn't go there. I'm not going to go. You're not going to see anything of that now for a few weeks. I have asked him, was there a bus lane? No. Uh, and then I did ask him, is there going to be a footpath? And he did show me. He said, yeah, 
eventually it's going to be a four lanes either side and there's going to be a footpath so we will be able to walk across it obviously it's going to be a while before we get to that stage i guess so this is going to be some quite some time because i don't think i'll get anywhere near it now to get to the um to see the the demolition because of the way it is you know where there's no approach from the other side there's nowhere to get your car and emerge out and onto the job you know what i mean so uh that this film that i've put on you can virtually say and and he said to me reggie look don't come back again now they've all told me that <laughs> three of them have told me three different people obviously three different shifts whatever days sundays weekends whatever I worry if I see the same bloke again and he says, Oi, I told you before you got to leave. <laughs> then, of course, he might ring the, the law or, or, you know, I don't really want to get into that sort of bother. But it's been an in interesting journey. I, I do have a comment, though. And, you know, the, it's it's taxpayers' money that pays for it. It's the government money that's paying for it. It's major infrastructure job that's happening on our behalf it's 78 million pounds in the world of youtube in the world of facebook uh you know they can give you the plans that the council made or the drawings and all the rest of it but they should why shouldn't they have some sort of media representation i mean if the builders if you look at youtube every job can be covered more or less the people out there this is how to build a fence this is how to to do a you know build a shed this is how to do this this is how to do that i would i would like them or these major as a as a you know connection between the people the taxpayers and the people getting the job done and such an enormous amount of money i think they should have um hello i'm your your bridge representative and um, update a film every couple of weeks say explaining exactly what they're doing and where they're spending our money obviously we don't know what they're spending it where but you know this is coming along and and i bet you this uh the the the, the cost 10 percent of it must have been them steel beams the other 10 percent of it must have been pulling the old bridges down or you know what i mean so yeah if anybody's looking from these con construction or these councils or, you know, or the government uh, looking at Reggie on the road, <laughs> if you're looking at Reggie on the road and there's major infrastructure jobs going on in a local area, they should have now, because we world live in the world of media and YouTube and Facebook, uh, obviously, I think they should have a representative there telling the people because you know you're our servants you, you're all you know you're all public servants in a way whether you're contracting or you're working for the government which is working for the people well supposed to be <laughs> you know uh, uh, quote unquote type of thing so mm, yeah please consider the next major job that gets done by you or infrastructure job that's get done put a man in charge and say and here's the films and we did this this week or we did that you know it's been a month but it took us a month to do this or that it, interest people they don't realize that people are interested in a the job because it's local on the doorstep and b we want to know where the hell all our money's going <laughs> it would it would smooth things along greatly i think hmm anyway so it's gonna i'm gonna leave it now for quite a while because you know you can only poke the lion for so long and he's gonna bite you isn't he so i think i've pushed my pretty i've pushed my luck on it so this is the the last film you'll see you know There are, look, there's some trucks coming back now. So I think they've just come back off a job. They've been somewhere. Mm. But this place is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive, look. Look how big. I mean, 
you know about bays for keeping sand and gravel look at the size of these bays wow they're huge bays they are i'm not really sure what that is hmm but you can see how um how big the place is simply because of the size of those bays to keep stuff <laughs> there's a crane over there crane over there look you see it it's, it stretches as far as the eye can see all the way over to there in that corner look over there around here absolutely Mahusip. Yeah.